right, Malou, looks like we got the Smith's wireless home network set up, so what do you say you and I get out of here? I don't know what's going on. I'm just logging on the internet, shopping for more hats and sunglasses, but I'm not getting a signal. What? No internet connection. We're sitting out here on the beautiful patio. They're gonna want a signal from out here. I know exactly what to do. But first, I have to go to the Bobmobile. All right, so I'm back in the Smith's office and I am going to set up what is known as a repeater, all right? Now Malou's outside uh, on the patio and she can't get any signal from our router that we set up already. I went out to the car, I got another router, exact same model, it's a Netgear WNR3500 and I'm gonna set this up as a repeater. So it's going to grab the signal from our receiver and it's gonna extend the network, all right? So I'll set it up somewhere else in the house where it can still get the signal and then extend it, which is great. All right, so I've unboxed it, of course. I need to plug in the power, which is down here. And to let you know, our router is now gonna become a base that's gonna to speak to our repeater, all right? The router still functions like a normal router that we set up, all right? It's gonna have our signal and it goes out, but it's got a limited distance that the strength of the signal can go, all right? And if that happens, you have a big house like the Smiths do, you need the repeater to grab the original signal and then extend it, all right? Now, if you have an apartment, you probably don't need to do this. Ah, another thing you need to know. You need to reconnect with an ethernet cable in the back in your ethernet port to the back of your PC. Now, especially if you have a, a wireless PC, you need to do this because you might not have your ethernet cable connected anymore because you're wireless, all right? So this is, the ethernet cable will allow your computer to program both your base unit and your repeater, all right? I am going to open up my internet browser, type in routerlogin.com, okay? Now this is not going onto the internet, this is actually talking to your router. Now it comes up, we need to have our username and password. For Netgear, admin is the standard username and password is the password. So now you're in routerlogin.com, you need to go to wireless settings. So click on wireless settings and you'll see that you need to name your network, all right? Ours is AP01, if you remember from earlier, and then it'll say mode, and this is uh, how many bits that you can get per second, and so we're gonna go the max, which is up to 300 uh, Mbps, uh, megabits per second, all right? And now it's asking about security options. Now, the first option is none, which is what we're gonna choose just for the ease of setup process. So the highest form of security you can use for the base and a repeater is WEP, or W-E-P, all right? Now, we talked about that as uh, being the weakest of security, but that's the best option we have right now. So if you click on that, it'll ask you to create a password. Now, when you type in your password, uh, normally that would just be what you would use to get onto any network that you've created. But with WEP, what it does is it creates a hex key, okay? So you put in your password, maybe it's mom, and then it'll kick out a whole bunch of letters and numbers. So write it down and don't forget it, all right? So I'm going to click apply, and it's now going to save my settings to my base, all right? And this might take a couple of seconds, so be patient. Now we've saved our wireless settings. Uh, I'm going to go down to what's called the wireless repeating function. We're making this base and repeater, all right? So now we've got to program those. So in the wireless repeating function, it says enable wireless repeating function. I'm going to click on that box. And then uh, we're connected to the base station. So I'm going to click wireless base station. And underneath it says repeater MAC address 1, 2, 3, 4. You can attach up to four repeaters to one base station. So we're going to go on the back of the repeater and find the MAC address. Now the MAC address is a unique hardware ID that is burned into this device. It says MAC, M-A-C, and it has a number underneath. I'm going to put that into the repeater MAC address under the wireless base station. And then I will click Apply. And now it's going to start setting up the uh, MAC address onto the base so it knows exactly which repeater it's talking to. All right, so we just set up our base station and now we need to set up our repeater, all right? So I'm gonna close out our Internet Explorer and I am going to unplug the ethernet cable from the back of our base station and plug it into the ethernet port on the back of our repeater. All right, so now the computer can set up our repeater. 
I will go back to our web browser, Internet Explorer, and type in the address bar, routerlogin.com. All right, we're going to be back at our home page. I'm going to go to wireless settings again. Under the name, put it under our AP01 because that's the same network, obviously. And then mode, I will go up to 300 Mbps again, megabytes per second. Again, the security options, we're choosing none. I already told you about WEP. And so now I'm going to press apply. So we've saved our wireless settings and now we need to go down to wireless repeating function. And I'm going to enable the wireless repeating function and we need to highlight wireless repeater because that's what we're working with. Now we need to put in the repeater IP address. Now an IP address is a unique software ID address assigned to a device, a repeater, so that the network can find the device and then send it information. Netgear has already populated the first seven numbers for you. So you just need to put in up to three digits, all right? Now that needs to be unique only for this device. So you need to choose a number between one and 255. Okay, I'm going to choose 12. So now that IP address is specific to our repeater right here. Next, we need to get the base station MAC address. Now I showed you the MAC address on the repeater. We need to flip over our base and find the MAC address again and input that. All right, so now we have all the information for our repeater set up. We're going to press apply. All right, and looks like we're done setting up our repeater. All the information is uploaded onto there, so I am going to close out our window and unplug the Ethernet cable from the back. And I can actually unplug it from the back of the computer because it's wireless also. All right, I'm gonna unplug our repeater. And I'm gonna go set this up more towards Malou so she can get some internet. All right, so I got my repeater here. It's all plugged in. I need to find a nice high spot to put it, and then Malou will have service. Let's go test Malou's reception. Well, Malou, how about now? Strong signal. It's all working now. I've been able to shop for quite some time here. Awesome. I already bought like 10 hats and 10 pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> so good. Awesome. Way to go. Nice okay. work. Cheers to you. Cheers to, oh, thank you very much. Nice little soda there. I think the Smiths will be pretty happy they got service out here in the Lanai.